Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to another virtual service at the Harvest. Those of you that are in the building, can we give God a praise all over this building? Those of you that are in virtual land, come on, put your claps inside the comments. For this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it because we know that Jesus is our rock. Anybody know that Jesus is your rock? Anybody really know that Jesus is your rock? Come on, can we make some noise in this place? Listen, we may be virtual, but I need to hear some noise. Talk back to me. Clap those hands and give God the glory, because he is yet good. Come on, fellas, let's go. Clap those hands all over this building. Come on, give him glory. Hey. Oh, I know Jesus. Jesus is my rock, my rock, my sword and shield. He's my will, and he's my will in the middle. The I know he's my shelter, he guides my footsteps, and, and he wipes away all of my tears. I know that Jesus, Jesus is my rock, my rock, my sword and shield. I know that Jesus, Jesus is my rock, my rock, my sword and shield, and he's the will. In the middle of a wheel, he guides, he guides my footsteps, and he wipes away all of my tears. I know Jesus, Jesus is my rock, my rock, my sword and shield. Well, rock of ages, yes, yes Lord, kept for me, yes Lord, let me high, yes, yes Lord, myself in me, yes Lord, I get weak, yes Lord, I get worn, yes. I get torn, yes, Lord. oh Lord, yes, Lord. Well, I read yes, Lord. in your word, yes, Lord. where you feed yes, the Lord. little bitty birds, yes, I know that Jesus, Jesus is my rock, my rock, my soul is shield, I know that Jesus, Jesus is my rock, oh, my rock, my soul is shield, and he's my will, and he's the will, he in the middle, in the middle, the he guides my footsteps. He guides my footsteps. Oh Lord, and he wipes away all of my tears. I know that Jesus, Jesus is my rock, my rock, my sword and shield. Well, rock of ages, yes Lord, help me, yes Lord, let me hide yes, Lord. myself in the yes Lord. I get tired, yes Lord. I get we, yes, Lord. I get one. Yes, oh Lord, yes, Lord. Well, I yes, Lord. in your word, yes, Lord. where you feed yes, the Lord. little bitty birds. Yes, I know that Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is my rock, my rock, my sword and shield. Yeah, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is my rock, oh, my rock, my sword and shield. And He's the will, and He's the will in the middle. The way. Well, God's my first day. He got my first day. Oh, Lord, and he wipes away all of my tears. I know that Jesus, Jesus is my rock. I know that Jesus, Jesus is my rock. I know that Jesus, Jesus is my rock. Anybody know Jesus? Jesus is my rock. He's around the wind. Jesus is my rock. Whenever I need him, he's my rock. Jesus is my rock. I know my father, he's my rock. Jesus my rock Jesus is my rock my rock my rock my rock my rock my rock I can lean on it my Lord's my rock in the middle of the night my rock I can call it when I'm lonely I can call it when I'm friendly he's my rock he's my rock he's my rock, he's my rock. Declare one more time, my 
rock, Jesus is He's my rock, we're in the hand. He's my rock, in the middle of a storm. I know Jesus is my God's my rock. Anybody know? He's my rock. Anybody know? He's my rock. I can depend on him. I can depend on him. I can depend on him. I can call on him. Jesus, have mercy. Come on, somebody ought to put some praise on it right there. Somebody ought to give him glory. Come on, all over this building, you ought to worship the Lord. Because the Lord allowed you to see another day that you have never seen before. Will you realize that the God that you serve has been a keeper? The God that you serve has been a deliverer. Oh, my rock. My rock. Oh, Jesus my rock. He's my rock. My rock. Jesus says, my rock. I can depend on him. My rock. He's my rock. My rock. I can lean on my him. Rock. He's my rock. my rock. I call him my in the morning. My rock. In the evening, I call you, lady. She does see us. She does see us. Clap your hands. My rock, my rock, my sword is here. My God, my God. <laughs> If you know he's your rock, I dare you to clap your hands. You know where your source of strength comes from. <laughs> oh, bless your name, Jesus. Oh, Lord, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Ooh, and my heart is overwhelmed. Anybody know that Jesus will? Come on, I'm in some things. I know we live in everything else, but anybody know that Jesus will? Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, can y'all clap your hands like this, everybody? Come on. We want to encourage you this morning. Listen. Listen. Who opens doors that I can I say Jesus will yeah. Jesus will Whoa. family hey, 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 hey. Who, who open door, open door. come on that I that I and I can I see Ooh, Jesus will yes he will Jesus will When I'm in trouble, when I'm in trouble, on, he gives me a song. He gives me a song. In the night season, in the night oh, season, oh, 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 oh. and all, all the 
praising God. How many know that he will? We have a God that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can actually think according to the power that works on the inside of all of us. Um, we thank God for all of you that's in the sanctuary. Thank God for all of you that are streaming with us. We are so grateful. Amen. And excited for today. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. We ought to rejoice and be glad in it. You may rest yourselves in the sanctuary. Um, certainly we want to announce um, that Sister Daphne Williams, the wife of Reverend Kevin Williams, lost her father um, this week. 
Also, we want to announce that Marietta, Sister Marietta Rogers, lost her sister, and she has another sister in the hospital. So we have to pray. Amen. A family that prays together stays together. Also found out that on yesterday, Reverend Vincent Davis transitioned. He used to be the pastor of New Providence. Vincent Davis has transitioned. So we pray um, for him, his family. And in dealing with all that, I have my own personal um, stuff I'm going through. I'm sure you heard by now, Reverend Emmanuel Whipple have transitioned. Amen. My brother, my friend, my cousin. Amen. He has gone on to be with the Lord. And, I, and I'm still dealing with my father-in-law um, in the hospital. So we got to pray. Amen. He's doing better. Digging Blocker is in the hospital. But we know by his stripes that he is healed. Amen. So I just want to make those announcements. Now it's time to jump into Bible country. Y'all don't want to hear the word? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Amen. Thank you so much for being here today. I shared on last week, ye shall recover. Oh, y'all remember that? I didn't finish it, so we're going to finish it today. Amen. You shall recover all, and today we're going to deal with I've recovered. Now what? I've recovered. Now what? Let's, let's get to the Bible. First Samuel chapter 30, and we're going to start at verse 21. Y'all got it? First Samuel chapter 30. This is the part two with a different title. Amen. First Samuel, because we didn't finish. First Samuel chapter 30. We'll start at verse 21. Verse 21 reads, And David came to the 200 men which were so faint that they could not follow him. Y'all remember them? Mm -hmm. Whom they had made also to abide at the brook of Basor. And they went forth to meet David. And to meet the people that were with him. And when David came near to the people, he saluted them. Then answered all the wicked men of Belial, of those that went with David, and said, Because they did not go with us, we will not give them out of the spoil that we have recovered. Save every man his wife and children, that they may lead them away and depart. Then said David, ye shall not do so, my brothers, um, with that which the Lord hath given us, who have preserved us and delivered the company that came against us into our hand. For who will hearken unto you in this matter? But as this part is that goeth down to the battle, so shall his part be that tarrieth by the stuff. Somebody say, somebody had to stay with the stuff. Somebody had to stay with the stuff. They shall part alike. In other words, they shall get what everybody else mm -hmm. is getting. And it was so from that day forward that he made it a statue and an audience for Israel until this day. Verses 21 through 25 of chapter 30, we know God's word is already blessed. May bless the hearers and doers of his already blessed word. Brothers and sisters, we... Salute our deacons, our ministers. So good to see Reverend Tyree back with us and all of you that are worshiping with us today and those that are on stream. We thank God for you and your presence today. Last week we dealt with ye shall recover all. We dealt with divine dependence. We dealt with divine discipline. And we dealt with divine direction. And we dealt with divine deliverance. Can I get a witness in the building? Brothers and sisters, we learned that David Dem came back, amen, on a three-day journey back to Ziglag and found it burned to the ground. And in the midst of what David was going through, the people, amen, conspired to stone him. But because of his divine dependence, the Bible said, but David encouraged himself in the Lord. There comes a time in our lives that we have to block people and everything out and just focus on God. The Bible said and declared, but David, he, he was divinely dependent on God, which gave him divine discipline. I shared with you last week when there's a coup like there was this week, amen, at the White House. Y'all gonna get this in a minute. When, when there's a coup, 
Yeah, yeah. When it was a coup, amen, this week, amen. It's, it's amazing how disrespectful it is for an athlete to bend down on his knee. He ain't trying to destroy nothing, damage nothing. That's a big deal to bend down on your knee when the national anthem is being played. But they did not see anything wrong, amen, with storming the nation's capital, amen, vandalizing stuff, amen. I, I read reports defecated and, and, and urinated, amen, in that sacred place, amen, but you're angry of an athlete who ain't bothering nobody, getting down on their knees, amen, and protest of police violence. Houston, we have a problem. They did not have divine discipline because David could have taken all of them out that conspired to, amen, kill him, but he had discipline enough to focus on the right thing. Can you look at your name and say, learn how to focus on the right thing? We're distracted with the wrong things, but we're not distracted with the good things. Let me help you right now. God can distract you from doing that which is wrong. They just sung a song, Jesus will. When I want to do wrong, Jesus will make me do. I feel like preaching anyway. Amen. Amen. We have a Savior that if you have divine dependence, he'll give you divine discipline to do right even when you want to do wrong. Paul say, when I desire to do good, I wish I had some real folk. When I desire to do good, many of us want to do good. We, 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 we really want to do good. We want to live right. We want to do right. But every time I desire to do good, evil is always testing me. Evil is always tempting me. Some of y'all even mess with me when I'm trying to be humble, trying to be nice, trying to be Christian. Folks will test your nerves. Can I get a witness in the building? Look at somebody say, I'm tired of you testing my nerves. Now, I'm trying to be humble. I'm trying to be humble. He, he, he was divinely dependent. He was divinely disciplined. But then he got divine directions. He, he, he had enough sense. Hear me and hear me good. He had enough sense to consult God before he did what he wanted to do. He said, shall I pursue? Shall I recover? God said, you shall pursue and without fail recover all. That's a shouting place right there. God gave him the commission to go get everything the enemy has stolen from him. He had divine dependence, divine discipline, divine directions. Then he had divine deliverance. But and sisters, before we get to our pericope, the Bible says in 19, and there was nothing lacking to them. Let's, let's back up to 18. Let, let me put it. And David recovered all that the Amalekites had carried away. And David rescued his two wives, the seed of joy and the sibling of pleasantness. And, and, and there was nothing lacking to them, neither small nor great, neither sons nor daughters, neither spoil nor anything that had taken them. David recovered all. Then it says, and David took all the flocks and herds which they drove before those other cattle and said, this is David's, this is mine. You ought to shout this morning, this is mine. No, 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 no. I want you to put your mind on what you lost and say, this is mine. See, when it's yours, you have the right to claim it back. I wish I had some folk that know, amen. If it's your joy, claim it. If it's your peace, claim it. This is mine, David declared. And David, here we are came to the 200. Now, I need, I need to explain to you, because I got to set this up for those that didn't hear it last week. In the direction, in the divine direction, David had enough sense, amen, he had 600 men, and he had enough sense to leave 200 by the brook. And I shared with you, I shared with you that many of us can't make it to recovery because we're carrying folk that's slowing us down. Y'all ain't helping me. Y'all don't know when to shout. See, see, I told you, you don't, you don't have to carry, but you still have to care. I'm trying to get to the message. 
just because you leave them don't mean you stop carry, caring for them, but you can't carry folk that will de de delay you from having an authentic relationship with God. You can't carry folk that don't want to come to church. You can't carry folk that don't want to tithe. You can't carry folk, amen, that say they tired of the church and tired of this and that. You can't carry them, but you have to leave them right where they are and go on your way, but still care for them even though you're not carrying Carrying them. Can I get a witness? Well, there's two sides to every story. Those that went on, they felt good not carrying dead weight. But I got to be true to the text. I got to be true to the text. God called me back to the text. He said, now, now, real, I want you to tell their side. Mm-hmm. Because there, 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 there's, there have been times, I feel it, y'all, that we have been where they are. <laughs> Too weak to fight. Too tired of being tired. Want to go, but just can't go. Who am I talking to this morning? I, I feel this thing. I, I, there's two sides to every coin, and, and I know we felt good about saying if we can't carry them, we can care for them. But let me tell you, they said, we, we, watch this. Some folk may not can go this time, but that didn't mean they didn't go last time. Woo, preach black man. And sometimes we're hard on people, but we, we only looking at that one moment and we're not looking at the whole picture. And sometimes we forget the whole story because we stuck on this one chapter. Look at somebody and say, baby, I got more than one chapter in my book. This is probably a bad chapter, but if you keep reading, the book gets better. Look at somebody say, stop staying on one chapter. Stop staying. That ain't the whole story. Y'all ain't helping me. Some people see your glory, but don't know the whole story. They see now and don't know how. I'm tired. I'm tired. Yeah, I'm tired. That's the truth. I'm tired. I'm tired. I want to go, but my body won't let me. I'm tired. I'm drained. David says, stay here with the stuff. Woo, look at somebody say, somebody got to stay with the stuff. I, I, I'm right where I want to be now. David, David understood that numbers may be impressive, but numbers are not impactful. Can I say that one more time? I, 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 got, to be, I got to be honest where I got this from. Um, 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 my big cousin, amen, Reverend Emmanuel Whipple, amen, said this to his son, amen, Martez Whipple. He said, son, remember... Numbers may be impressive, but numbers are not always impactful. Just because you got a lot <laughs> don't mean you can do a lot. I wish I had a praying church. And we get caught up in numbers because it's impressive. But don't get caught up in numbers because they're impressive because they might not be impactful. He didn't stop there. Can I tell you what else he told his son? He said, and favor will take you further than finances. While you around here counting people and counting paper, don't put your trust in people and paper because the God we serve can take you further than people and paper. We put too much weight on folks and finances. God say, if you got my favor, you can go further. He left them at the brook of Basor. Yes, 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 he comes back. Somebody say he came back. And I, I, I want you to see verse 21, and David came to the 200. David, watch this now, was just as kind to those who he left with the stuff as he was with the people that fought with him. I'm talking to Christians now, because some of y'all, I wish I could say what I really want to say. Amen. I'm only going to say what the Holy Spirit tell me to say it, but I ain't going to say it because Greg want to say it. They came to meet David. They came out to meet the conquerors and, and to congratulate them on their success. Though they could not contribute to it, they still celebrated it. 
We have to learn that. I, I, I didn't help you win, but I'm still going to celebrate your winning. Oh, I'm in the right church. I'm in the right church. Some folk can't celebrate because they wasn't a part of it. But I wish we had some folk that had a divine perspective and know I don't have to be a part of it to be happy for you. I wish I had a witness here. Look at your neighbor say, neighbor, we need to cut it out. I don't have to be happy for you because I wasn't there to help you. That's my first point. That's my first point. David had a divine, y'all know I'm going to stick with the divine. He had a divine perspective. The people at the brook had a divine perspective. We have two people that met at the brook, and both of them had a divine perspective. They had a divine outlook. And let me share with you, your outlook would always determine your outcome. He said, we're going to rejoice in the good work that's done. I wish I had some church folk in the harvest that you don't have to be on the scene with your gangster lean and get stuff done, but would rejoice that it got done. Some folk, when stuff get done, they come by to criticize. And the only reason you criticize is because you didn't have a hand in it, because it's hard to criticize something you had a hand in. I feel anointing in this place. Look at your neighbor and say, don't criticize and ostracize. Learn how to celebrate when the work gets done. It ain't about who's done the work. It's about the work being done. That's the perspective we should have as, as worshipers, as Christians, as people that, 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 that attend churches. Stop, amen, criticizing folk that's doing the work and celebrate that the work is being done to the glory of God. David received their address very kindly. And was so far, amen, he was so far from rebuking them because of their weakness. And he showed himself attentive to their care. Did y'all hear me? He could have went off like, man, y'all ain't about nothing. I needed y'all. That's how arrogant we are. I needed you and you was not there for me. Watch this now. Here, here, here's why I call it arrogance. Why will we go and complain when God gave us the victory? Can I tell you why? I already know why. I want to know if y'all know why. Many of us still go back and complain to folk that apparently backed out on us, apparently abandoned us, and their abandonment and their backing out did not affect the victory. I'm going to say it slow. It's because some folk just want to complain. Some folk just want to fault find. They're not focusing on the favor that God has given them in the battle. They want to come back and whine and complain and put folk down because they couldn't go. David did not do that. Somebody say, thank God for a divine perspective. David received their address. And matter of fact, if you go back there, David, at the end of that verse, saluted them. <laughs> when you are going to start saluting people that stay back with the stuff. Everybody can't go with you. Everybody don't see the stuff that you see. And let me, let me, let me just put it in your lap. Everybody ain't commissioned to go with you. And that's why we can't get to the victory because we're taking folk that God did not ordain for the trip. Jesus did not take the 12 up on the mountain of transfiguration. He took his inner circle. He took three. Peter, James, and John. And the other one stayed in the valley. And while they was in the valley, somebody brought a boy to them to be delivered and they could not do it. Because numbers are impressive, but not impactful. There was more in the valley than was on, on the mountain. And the ones in the valley, they had the numbers, but they didn't have the power. Woo, I feel an anointing in this place. Numbers don't give you power. Sometimes numbers give you pollution. Oh, 
Look at somebody and say, don't get caught up in numbers because sometimes it pollutes you. It don't empower you. Because the more people you have around you, the more ideas they try to put in your ears. David received them. He saluted them. He asked them. He asked them, how y'all doing? He inquired about them because he had left them faint and not well. He, 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 he encouraged them to be of good cheer, that they should not lose nothing by staying behind. Y'all missed it. I don't want to give it away, but I got to say it before I get to the end. It's amazing that the ones that fought and the ones that stayed both recovered all. Y'all missed it. Y'all missed it. Look at your neighbor and say, don't you miss that. Don't you miss that. That's a therapeutic point right there. That's a therapeutic. See, see, God, let, let, let me segue. Let me segue to my next point. See, see, if there's a divine perspective, watch this. That, that means there's a divine power. Let, let me help you before I, before, I, before I be too anxious. Listen, 22 say, then the wicked men of Belial, that, 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 that the wicked men, these was like ungodly people unreasonable people told David David I so move that um, if they didn't go with us they cannot amen enjoy the spoils of the battle another wicked man say I second that motion the motion was properly moved the second you had time to consider. Are you ready for the question? All in favor, let me know by the sign of I. Any opposers, let me know by the sign of nay. David said, I want to, I really want to, I got to stay in the spirit. David said, nay. Do you know why David said nay? It's right in the text. If you read 21 and 22, it's right in the text. He said nay. Watch this now. He said nay. He said, he said, he said, here's what the evil men say. I don't think they deserve it because they didn't go with us. And we shouldn't give them nothing that we recover. Did you know what we say? He said, all we need to give them is their wives and their children and let them go about their business. It's, I wish y'all go home and read it. It's right there. It's right there in, in 22. He said, the only thing we should give them saved to every man, his wife, his children, that they may lead them away and depart. That's like being in a, a, a lottery pool. Uh huh. And we all win, and it's going to be somebody in that pool trying to disqualify somebody because they want more money. I wish I would have had a winner. They, they, they missed this week, Brother Pastor. They, they didn't pay their dollar this week. I mean, it's only fair. They know every. Tuesday, they got to get that money in because Wednesday coming. Y'all so quiet now. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't step on somebody told now. So what they're saying, if we can get rid of the people and disqualify some people, that's more for us. I don't want their wife and I sure don't want their children. They can take them and go. But y'all ain't helping me. And we get more. Y'all see the covetousness. Y'all see the selfishness. I've recovered. Now what? Here's why God told me to preach this message. Because sometimes uh, when we recover, we get beside ourselves. He gave it back to you and gave you more, and you don't even know how to act once you get it. Oh, <laughs> it's bad to ask God to give you something back, and when it comes back, you still don't know how to treat it. I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that like I'm from Scott Projects. I'm going to say it one more again. It's bad to ask God for deliverance and for him to give you back the stuff that you ask for, that you say, shall I pursue? And then when you get it, you don't know how to handle it. David. David answered the wicked men. 
David said, oh, we're not doing this. But look, look, I, see, y'all missed this. I want everybody to look at 23. I, I want to teach it and preach it. Can I teach it and preach it? Can I, can I, can I chew bubble gum and walk at the same time? <laughs> watch, watch this. Then said David, ye shall not do so. Look at the next words. My brethren. Even though they were wicked, even though they was ungodly, he still didn't bash them over the head. He still called them my brothers. Because see, sometimes you can't get into people's psyche if you are their enemy. We haven't learned this. We're, we're trying to tell people what to do it and how to do it without doing it in love and without doing it in a relationship. Because the same people that say we're not going to divide the stuff were the same people just a couple of days ago wanted to stone David. You better be careful who's around you. Because David knew, y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm paraphrasing now. David said, man, y'all, boy, this just how y'all did me back at Ziglag. And I'm not going to, now, it ain't me now. It ain't me now. It's somebody else. Watch this. You got to learn how to stand up when it's not you and it's for somebody. Mm, that's a word all in itself. Some of us entertain the enemy, entertain the devil when the devil is after somebody else. But you just don't stand up for yourself. Learn how to stand up for somebody else when somebody is trying to wrong them. That's divine perspective. Watch this now. David said, no, we're not doing that. My brethren. Here it is. We're not going to do that with that. Y'all don't even know what the that is. I'm not doing that with that that the Lord had gave us. Woo. Woo. Can I tell you why he's not going to do that with that? Because he understood his divine perspective made him acknowledge divine power. He said, first of all, we did not win the war. First of all, we did not defeat the Amalekites. If it had not been for the Lord on my side, where will we be? Get over yourself. You ain't winning nothing. If God be for us, who can be against you? Some of us have an over-evaluated opinion of ourselves. You think you did it. You ain't do nothing. He's saying, he's saying to them, hey, man, y'all got this wrong. I'm not going to do that with that which the Lord have given us who have preserved us and delivered the company that came against us into our hands. I've recovered. Now what? Can I tell you? Never forget. Who brought you over? It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. They went from tragedy to triumph. And when they got the triumph, when they got the triumph, they didn't know what to do with what the Lord. Is that your testimony? Is that, is that your narrative this morning? God has given you something and you don't know what to do with it. God has blessed you and you still being stingy. God, has, I wish I had a witness here because you feel, you feel, you feel that the person don't deserve it. Who in the H-E-L-L -L you think you are? When God blesses you, you don't. I wish I had a, I wish I had a witness here. Sometimes God blesses us to be able to bless somebody else. I wish I had some folk that had a heart like God to know that when God do it, that don't mean you sit on it. Amen. That mean you... Mm, help those, even the ones that stay with the stuff. Somebody shout divine power. And I stop by to let everybody know you're here today not in your own power. You're here today, amen, because of divine power. I know you got a couple of degrees, but you didn't have nothing to do with it. If God didn't make your butt stay awake, amen, while the lecturer was lecturing, amen, you wouldn't have that degree. If God didn't give you good health to get up and go to school or get on that computer, y'all ain't helping me. If it had not been for God, uh, don't, you, don't you be little people that don't have degrees because you can be educated and not be intelligent. Preach black man. Uh, don't stop Lillian people that don't have education and know if God wasn't there for you, you wouldn't be educated. 
Well, watch them people that want to throw their education around. And that, see, some of y'all negative right now. Some of y'all think I'm knocking education. I would never, I would never knock education. Because the Bible promotes education. Because the Bible say without knowledge, y'all ain't helping me. <laughs> ain't people perish. I'm not knocking education. I'm saying people with education can't knock those without it. Hey, if you got it, share it with somebody that didn't have the money to go to school. I tell everybody, I got a BA. I've been born again. I got a master. His name is Jesus. And when I get sick, I got a doctor. And his name is Jesus. I wish I had a witness here. I didn't graduate cum laude. I graduated with some of everybody. Y'all don't like me today. But you not going to make me feel less than you because you got a degree. Amen. I was back staying with the stuff. Y'all ain't helping me. Sometimes people and families watch the kids while somebody else go to school. And don't you belittle them because they stay with the stuff so you can matriculate. Did the, did the project boy say that right? I said it right here. Don't you get beside yourself and disrespect the ones that sacrifice for you to go to school. Now you coming home calling everybody dummies. When the dummy is the one that don't recognize divine power. Preach black man. Somebody say divine power. Yeah, he, David said, no man, we, we didn't win. God won. He did it again. Hmm? He did it again. He did it again. And so now I can tell all my friends, you have won again. Let your power fall. I just told you divine power. When your name is called, prove the doubters wrong. You're still mighty. Y'all know the song. And strong. Fight this battle. It's in the text. For me. Help my unbelief. So I can tell. Y'all don't know when to shout. I can tell all my friends. You have won. Again. Somebody shout divine power. I got 11 minutes. Watch this. He had divine he had divine perspective. He didn't, he didn't belittle them. He, he didn't. I told you, this, the, this the other side. That, that there's sometimes when we get weak, we get worn. They sung the song. Boy, y'all was, y'all was the spirit heads, y'all saying that. We get weak, we get tired, we get worn. But I read in your word how you feed the little bitty bird. And I know Jesus is my rock my sword and my shield are y'all hearing me he 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 did not belittle them he did not beat them he did not badger them but he he cared for them even when he couldn't carry them because i can't carry you don't mean i don't care for you because maybe just maybe god's gonna bless me to come back where i drop you off to bless you again Y'all don't y'all 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 ain't ready for this word. Somebody say divine perspective. Somebody say divine power. Now this thing right here blew my mind. I'm gone. I'm gone, Tobias. I'm gone. I'm gone. Divine policy. What, what are you talking about now? The other points was pretty good. Divine perspective. Divine power. But where is this divine policy coming from? I'm gonna tell you. It's right in the Bible. 25 say, and it was from that day forward that David made a statute. David made an ordinance for Israel unto this day. Y'all know what unto this day mean? It means unto this day. That if you go to war and you're not in physical battle, you still will get 
the reward from the battle. Somebody say divine policy. It's amazing that we are supposed to be led by God, supposed to be have a divine dependence, divine, amen, discipline, divine direction, but we, we don't have divine policies. Even gangsters have policies. Anybody ever watch Scarface? Even gangster have. Scarface was, he, Scarface was hired to kill somebody, and Scarface policy was, Scarface policy was, I don't kill women and children. Somebody said that. Somebody said that was a divine policy. If a gangster can have divine policy, there ought to be some things, Christians, women, and men of God, that you just will not do. And you ought to leave it for the next generation not to do. And we don't have that because we're passing on our dysfunction to our descendants and to our next generation. The descendants pass it on to us and we're pass we don't have which anything goes now. We don't even have code no more. If gangsters can have a code, why can't Christians follow the code of the Bible? Here's a code for y'all not going to like. First code up. Forgiveness. I just done lost half of my viewers. Y'all come back on. Please come back on. Come back on. Forgiveness. That's the code he wants us to operate in. He don't want you walking around with a alt in your heart, uh, with, 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 with a wedge in your heart. You're nursing a grudge, uh, and you wonder why you're sick. You're sick because you're nursing sickness. Many of our sickness comes from our disobedience to the word and the policy and the code of God. Oh, y'all don't want to holler at your boy no more. You're sick because you can't let it go. You can't, you can't enjoy the future because you are sick and being drugged back into the past when God can get you past your past. God can get you P-A-S-S your P-A-S-T. If you had a policy. You're talking to a man that sell policies. And when you don't have a policy, amen, life will take you by surprise. David said, you know what? I like David, y'all. David said, you know what? I'm not going to be here always. Let me put something in place. That this will never be an issue. That's the Negro problem right there. We never put nothing in place. We let issues go from generation to generation to generation. And we do not put things in place for the next generation to break the generational cycle. David knew I ain't going to be here. Let me put this. Let me put this on the books. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me make a statue that you don't have to go to experience the overflow. Yes, I'm going to shout on that myself. I don't, when, when, when I'm weak, watch this, when I'm weak and can't make the trip, God's not going to disqualify me from the rewards of the trip. I'm talking to the other side now. I know y'all got have. I know y'all want to be the ones that leave people behind. But I'm telling you right there, you can leave them behind, but God still got them. Okay, let me say it like this: You can leave them behind, but God still gonna take care of their behind. That's the best way I can put it, my brothers and sisters. Don't think because you abandoned somebody that that you are the uh, uh, in all be all. God will show you that. Watch this. Even though I didn't fight with you, I'm still favored of God and I'm still going to get the fruits that you fought for. Somebody say favor ain't fair. But smile when you say this part. Say favor ain't fair. But smile when you say this. But it surely is fun. He had a divine policy from this day forth. We're not going to Mistreat 
our brothers and sisters. Yes. Yes, Can I get a yes, witness in the building? Yes, David is saying, and these was wicked men, y'all. Yes. The Bible said it, not Greg. Yes. Yes. Even righteous people yes. cannot let wicked people Cause them to make wrong decisions. Oh, wow. 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 There's some wicked people in the church that don't think some folk deserve. I done lived it. There's some folk think y'all ain't, some of y'all ain't been here long enough to reap the benefits of the great New Harvest Church. Oh, y'all, 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 y'all get quiet on me. Some folks say, yeah, yeah, they ain't pay their dues. They ain't, they, ain't, they ain't sweat and bleed like we did. They wasn't here when we had only 30, 40 people, and most of them was children. <laughs> when we could fit right in that parking lot, we, we didn't have to go down the street across the lot or over here. We could fit right there, and parking lots were still left open. They ain't been here long enough to take our toilet tissue. And our paper towels. Pastor just give everything away. They ain't here long enough to spend that much time with Pastor. I've been supporting that joker for years. And they just joined three weeks ago. And he called their name more than he ever called mine. I ain't scared of none of y'all. I'm 49, and guess what? If the good Lord let me live, I'll be 50 this year. I got here at 26, and I'm still rolling, baby. And that's why some of y'all don't like the Thompson policy. The Thompson policy is in the Bible. The last shall be first. And the first shall be last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta know how to treat everybody right. Treat everybody equally. You don't, you don't have seniority in the church. That's only on your job. If somebody joined today, they got as much right to new harvest than that bit than those that have been here 22 years. I bet we won't shout now. Can I get a witness in the building? We can't get caught up in this. That's why church, we got to leave things in place. Thompson may not be here. Always. We got to leave some stuff. Leave, leave. Leave my people alone. Her dress don't have to be to her ankles for me to love her. He don't have to have a suit on for me to shake his hand. Oh, y'all quiet now. Y'all quiet. He don't have to be a part of the elite group of the church for me to answer his call. Y'all don't like your pastor today? I'm going to call him if he don't have a jacket. I'm going to answer his call if he don't even have pants. He can come in here with a t-shirt on and some shorts. He's still a child of God. He's just stuck at the stuff. But guess what? He ain't going to always be stuck at the stuff. Because if I can't go, to, if he, they can't go with us, God will come to them. I wish I had a praying church. I don't know who I'm talking to. You may be weary. You may be worn. You may be tired. But stay with the stuff. You know what stuff you got to stay with? Stay with prayer. Stay with peace. Stay with joy. Stay with forgiveness. Stay with the stuff. And if you stay with the stuff, hey, after a while, God is going to show up in your life. Look at somebody and say, I may not can't go with you. I may not can't fight with you, but I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to stay with the stuff. Is there anybody here going to stay with the stuff? Don't, don't, don't touch nobody but dap them say, I'm standing with the stuff. No, no, y'all didn't do what I said yet. Come on, just dap somebody say, I'm going to stay with the stuff. I'm going to stay with the stuff that brought me this far. Don't you give up on God because God didn't give up on you. 
Don't you give up on the church because the church didn't give up on you. Stay with the stuff. And he will strengthen you to make your way back. I wish I had some prayer warriors that can shout that. I'm going to stay with the stuff. I'm going to forgive. I'm going to love. I'm going to treat everybody right. I'm going to stay with the stuff. Is there anybody in here going to stay with the stuff? If you're going to stay with the stuff, make the devil mad. Get on your feet. Put your head back. Put your arms up and say, God, I'm going to stay with the stuff. Grab your neighbor by the hand. Shake it like you're going to shake it off. Say, neighbor, oh, neighbor, I'm staying with the stuff. Say, neighbor, payday is coming after a while. Be not weary and well-doing. If you hold on and faint not, your ship is going to come in due season. Look at your neighbor. I say, neighbor, y'all ain't looking at him. Look at him. Say, neighbor, I got my mask on, but I want you to hear what I'm saying. Due season is coming. Due season means at the appropriate time, God will show up at the appropriate time. Be not dismayed. Whatever betide, God will, God will take care of you. Somebody gonna get it in a minute. I may not can fight with you, but I can watch the stuff. Stay with the stuff. It's the stuff that gonna get us over. Some of us trying to be heroes. We want the glamour. We want the fame. We want the spotlights. But he's looking for some folk that can be real with themselves and say, God, I'm going to stay with the stuff. I'm not going to hurt them because of my ego. I know I can't go, but I still want to go. But I got to humble myself and stay with the stuff. I've recovered. Now won't. Now what? Divine perspective. So y'all hear me, divine power, divine policy. Don't let wicked people make you wicked. Because some have crept up into the church unaware. I'm in the Bible. And they're nothing but ravenous wolves dressed in sheep clothing. Everybody here don't want to help people. And they'll try to talk you out of helping people. 
We got to bless those that stayed with the stuff. Don't get beside yourself when you recover all. Share. Care. Even when you're not able to carry. To God be the glory of the things he has done. Father God, we thank you now for your word. We thank you now for divine perspective, divine power, and divine policy. God, let us live in a way that we can transfer our policies to the next generation. There are some things we should just not do. And there are some mouths we should not listen to. If God be for us, who can be against us? Let us stop beating people down because they're not where we are on the journey. Let us encourage them and appreciate them and like David, salute them. First of all, for not hindering me and salute them. Watch this. Salute, salute them because in essence, they were part of the victory. Because there are some people we can take that will cause us to be defeated. And we got to know both sides. One side got to know, go get it. And the other side got to know, I'm not going to hinder you from getting it. But like the thief on the cross, remember me when God gives you the victory. Father God, we pray for those that don't know you upon their sin. We pray this prayer of salvation. Father, forgive me of all of my sins. Come into my heart. Come into my life. Create in me a clean heart. We know in me the right spirit. I'm confessing with my mouth and believing my heart that you sent Jesus to die for me. And I believe he did not stay dead. He got it with all power in his hand. And I'm willing to be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. If you prayed that prayer with me, my brothers and sisters, you are saved. Find a church. Amen. A Bible-based church. Amen. That you can get sound doctrine. Amen. To be dependent, directed, and delivered and disciplined by God. Am I right about it? Ye shall recover all. Part two. I've recovered. Now what? Don't get beside yourself when God turned things around in your life. Always look in the mirror and tell yourself this every morning. If it had not been for the Lord on my side, where would I be? Take us out, praise team. Let your power fall when your name is called. Prove the doubt is wrong. You're still mighty and strong. Fight this battle for me. my own belief so I can tell all of my friends that you have won again let power fall when your name is called prove the doubt of the you're still my you're still mighty. You're still mighty. God, you're still mighty. God, you're still mighty. Lord, I know you're mighty. Lord, I know you're mighty and strong. Fight this battle for me. Hell, my unbelief. So I can tell all my friends. You have won. Again, you have won. Again, help me. You have.
Father, you have one. Oh. 